on Spob's Kitchen. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make some uh, perfect Roman noodles. Except this time we're actually going to cook them. So, um, I have some water boiling upstairs, and I left it on for about 30 minutes. Oh, Jesus, the fire alarm! Ah! 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 No idea why I make these dumb cooking videos. I mean, nobody even watches them anyway. Oh, waste my time smashing Romans on this stupid box. God dang it. I'm going to clean it up, try to get it all over the floor. God, this is just dumb. <laughs> I mean, at least I do make some food, though. I have the stuff to be burned. <laughs> no! We're going to make this video, and we're going to do it right! You've cleaned up your uh, box here, and uh, you've got all of your ramen onto a plate. Um, as you can see here, we have the seasoning. You want to take all of your ramen upstairs. Moving pillow. <laughs> Oops, I spilled some. So, you want to take your ramen upstairs. And up here, you'll find your loving mother on her phone. Get out of here. So after you've separated the flavoring from the ramen, what? what you do is you pour it into a bowl. Do you really think we were gonna cook this on a plate? Don't ever trust any other sources than Sus Bob's Kitchen. Now, you sweep the remaining ramen off the counter into your hand because we are not making a mess. Mess is the least amount of things that we could have on this channel. Now you have your ramen here. It's uh, all cracked up and in a bowl. All you do is add some water. Any amount will do. Uh, just, <laughs> just add water. Just add as much water as you feel is needed. Put a mask on. And um, <laughs> you put enough. You put enough water in your bowl. <laughs> then you'll have the perfect ramen. <laughs> Now I think this is good enough to cook. Hey! Um, I would like to especially thank, um, what's the name of that ramen company? Rotatoli uh, Ramen for sponsoring this video. Uh, because they have the most wonderful ramen that you could ever ask for. You cook ramen in the microwave? Yeah. Hey, you gotta you gotta go and you need a quick snack. Then this is the way to do it. You put it in the microwave and you set it for th three minutes. Oh, no. And you wait. That's no. all there is to it. Hey. Now we'll come back in three minutes to show you uh, what hey. the results are. Hey, wait a minute. When we cooking something? Yeah, I think we played a game of Fortnite and came up here for like 20 minutes. Let, okay. Let's go see. Oh my god. We were cooking ramen for 10 minutes. Oh no! 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 How is this stuff like not good? This is just. What's the foam? What? There's foam here. Hmm. You're supposed to be a professional cook. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm 13 years old and. Let's continue. It, 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 it was only in there for three minutes. So after your ramen is cooked for three minutes, um, you want to add the flavoring. Um, it, uh, what we're doing is oriental flavoring. So you just tear open the package and you enter it in there, and it is sweet, succulent rum. <laughs> anyway, so what we do now is we stir up the ramen <laughs> and do a nice, a nice just. Here we go. <laughs> How does it taste? Um, well, let's try a little let's bit. Let's get the professional taster. Blow it off. The 
professional taster. He tastes. It can't be that bad. I think I have cancer. It can't. It can't be that bad. I think I have cancer now. We're all eating. I'll, I'll pass. Like I said, I think I have cancer now. The professional cook. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, listening to this episode of Sus Bob's Kitchen. Um, we'll be back with another episode in a few days or a couple minutes.